You guys ready for your next battle? Let's do some woman-on-woman -woman crime, man. Give it up for the amazing Nina Davis and Olivia Wynn, everybody! Yeah! Woo! Thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Have you two decided who's going first? It's gonna be me. Okay, she's going first. It's gonna be roast on three. Everybody, one, two, three! Roast! Olivia, do you need to pray first? No, I'm just kidding. I, uh, I feel like we should get this out of the way right, a right away. I bet you've always wondered whether or not I've thought about what it would be like if we hooked up. And I, just, I gotta be honest, I fucked a lot of my American Girl dolls growing up, so <laughs> I think I get it. Oh, Nina, you're so quirky. <laughs> Nina actually used to work at the cheese shop on the square in Madison. And before that, she still smelled like this. So. <laughs> Olivia recently uh, moved to New York. Congratulations to pursue uh, comedy, hopefully to get a special, uh, even if that's on Dateline. <laughs> Well, Nina moved to Colorado and uh, Manitou Springs, producing shows there, booking more women than that town has ever seen. Finally, someone brave enough to go to native land and go, but is this a safe space for white women? <laughs> Nina, you look like you're bringing up that you are constantly on stolen land while you're wearing stolen CVS lip gloss. <laughs> Olivia starts all of her journal entries with, are you there, God? It's me, Olivia. <laughs> Nina's had two miscarriages, uh, and I think it's because she keeps on putting too many figurines up there. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia doesn't call men daddy in bed. She calls them her heavenly father. In, in Nina's bedroom, she has a shower. I know, how quirky, how quirky is that? And if you're wondering what kind, it's not baby. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I really like that. Olivia works in tech support, which is also what she does in her relationships, technically supporting men. wish. Okay. <laughs> Not about you. Uh, Nina got married to two people at an improv camp, uh, which sounds made up, but yeah, it's improv camp. It's... <laughs> Too many people entered the scene. <laughs> Ni Nina, yes and is not appropriate response to do you take this man? <laughs> Say what you will about my sex life. At least I can come without a washing machine. And all it takes is a light breeze for you, as, <laughs> as we all know. Nina actually went through some pretty dramatic weight loss. Um, yeah, so if you're wondering, psychedelics does in fact make you thin, but it does nothing for keeping your tits above your kneecaps. <laughs> Nina, Nina, you look like Kristen Bell if her middle name was Taco. <laughs> One more joke. <laughs> Olivia is terrified of New York City rats. Uh, she's really worried one of them's gonna cheat on her. <laughs> <laughs> Nina's had such a wild life, you know, the two miscarriage, the two divorces. Yeah, the, those improv marriages didn't work out. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, she even at one point was uh, enrolled in massage therapy school, but then dropped out. Uh, bottom line is Nina loves starting projects and never finishing them. <laughs> Yeah, even if you're wondering about the weight loss, it's, you know, if you're wondering how she even gained so much weight, it's because she bit off more than she could chew. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. All right. Ended weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but a great battle overall. Give it up for them. That was awesome. Great job. Great work. That was good. 
Awesome. Can I see what this? I was trying to say that. Is, is, does your does your joke book say how to love? That's amazing. Oh man, that's uh, with thick thighs. That's interesting. But I um. <laughs> let's start off with Jacob this time. What did you think of the battle up here? Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like after this battle, uh, I agree. I basically agree with JD Vance. There's way too many childless guy ladies. But uh, <laughs> no, this was a very. It looked like a very heated uh, book club discussion. Um, <laughs> I liked that improv came up because it seemed like both of you didn't prepare that much material. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, this was uh, good stuff. Uh, I would say it was very close. Uh, I think maybe overall by a hair, I'd give it to Olivia, but very close. Okay, Olivia gets one vote. Give it up for Olivia. <laughs> Kevin Kell. Oh, wow. This was complicated. Um... <laughs> Yeah, like all of your relationships with other human beings, fucking complicated. <laughs> Give it up for that fucking blazer for doing the work for you tonight. Um, honestly, you are dressed like you're selling perfume to my mom at a department store. And you don't smell good. Um, <laughs> no, I'm gonna, uh, I, I, lo I loved uh, a lot of the fire, especially that last joke, yeah, but I, I think Olivia went all the way on it. Yeah. Okay, Olivia with two. Olivia with two. Max Sorich, you have the same color palette on your shirt than her jacket. Does that bother you? Yes. Um, and I hadn't thought about it until just now. Anyway, I, this battle was like two girls from rival high schools arguing about like which of their boyfriends was hotter, but their boyfriends are like the captain of the bowling team. So, you know? <laughs> but this battle was super fun. Um, I think Olivia just kind of had the upper hand most of the time, so I got to give it to Olivia. Okay, Olivia wins it with three votes. I do want thoughts here from Jake Snell, though. Do you even need my comment? She already won. I, okay, well, never mind that. Fuck you, dude. I mean, Fuck yeah. Jake. Let's just talk Slutty period, second. lady. You're up yeah. now. Yeah. You go. I, I mean, even the battle was a little wishy-washy, but it's, isn't it so much more entertaining when women don't support other women? Isn't that just so much fun? <laughs> Don't we all secretly like that a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's more entertaining. Um, I will say, great battle for the both of you. Um, it looks like you guys are like from other high schools, but you're like cheerleaders trying to steal each other's cheers, but both cheer routines suck, you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, um, great job to both of you. Uh, Olivia, you, you had some uh, of my favorite jokes uh, out of the two. So yes, of course, you're the Beautiful one. these two ladies killing up here. Thank you so much. Wow. Man. Yes, enjoy, yes, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your uh, Harry Potter fan club. Get the hell out of here. Good job, everybody, okay. Woo!